what's going on everybody out there this is popular stranger and we are back at you again today with another madden 24 ultimate team video in today's video we got early reveals for week one team of the week cards coming out later this afternoon now if you guys enjoy this video if you like it if it helps you out make sure you go ahead and click that thumbs up button shows a lot of support on the channel helps the videos get noticed also if you're brand new here you were searching on youtube for what 24 content whether it's how to make coins how to get free players how to build your ultimate team you found the right channel for everything stay a while click that subscribe button turn that notification bell on as well so you guys are alerted when we drop additional videos let's get right on into it not too much up to update news wise they did mention on gmm this morning that they are still working on people who did not get their red zone pack for playing at least one game in the ultimate kickoff mcs event i don't know if you guys remember this some of you may have missed it but earlier before the game even came out if you registered to play in the ultimate kickoff event and actually played in the event you would receive a red zone pack nobody got their pack so they're still working on that and there is a most feared mcs event upcoming the same thing's going to apply for that if you register and play in the event you can earn another free red zone pack so it's definitely worth it assuming that you actually get your pack but those are really the only updates we got for today let's go through the team of the week week number one reveals and i'm going to talk about why ea basically ruined this promo they made it worse in my opinion so we start with 79 overalls we got quay walker these lower overall cards are really only going to be good for theme teams they're not going to be meta cards or anything like that but quay walker had a pick six there so he certainly deserved a card also a lot of players are going to get snubbed it just is what it is there's more people who had good performances than cards that they are giving out especially with the big change that they made this year so it's just something we're gonna have to deal with people getting snubbed and also people maybe having content for future promos the other 79 overall is going to be kyron williams running back for the Rams only 80 speed there trucking break tackle change of direction all in the 70s so we're not going to spend too much time breaking these cards down to get those 79s you can trade in basically a bunch of gold cards I don't think this is worth it to put eight cards in a set for one card you can probably just sell all the gold cards and buy the 79 that you want in that case so I would stay away from this exchange set but it is there if you want it we got 281 overall so Brian Branch kind of forgot about him right he had a really big play in Thursday night's game then we had all of the games on Sunday Sunday night Monday night I totally forgot about his pick six so he gets a card for that 82 speed strong safety 82 hit power but both the man and the zone coverage not in the 80 so just another underwhelming card but you can't expect too much from an 81 overall one more time these are just going to be theme team cards at most Tyler Algier gets a card kind of had you know I had him in my predictions yesterday kind of assumed he would get one for the two touchdowns and 75 rushing yards 81 break tackle 80 speed 84 carry trucking or yeah trucking change of direction not good again 81 overall is not very usable at this point here is the set to get though so it's going to take any three 79 overall team of the week players to get 181 and i want you to pay attention to the graphic we're looking at it says any 79 overall team of the week player we'll point this out when we get to another set in a moment here are the 85 overalls and tyson campbell was not a player that i had in my predictions at all didn't really expect it this card looks pretty good and budget friendly honestly now agility and jumping and play rec a bit low but i like the 85 speed he is six foot one and i like the balance between the press the zone and the man i think if you're a budget player and we don't know what prices these 85s are going to be at because you're going to need him for the 88 overall set but if you're a budget player or a no money spend player this could be a pretty good budget item eventually it might not be right away because of Tyreek Hill but it looks like a solid card at 85 overall and then on offense we have Brandon Ayuk another player that was pretty well predicted here two touchdowns absolutely torched the Steelers defense he gets 85 speed as well short run running 85 mid 83 deep 81 don't like how it gets worse as it goes up he also has 85 catch and 89 jumping the spec catch and catch in traffic pretty terrible terrible catching traffic is rough when you have a slot receiver as well you want him to be able to hang on to those tough tough passes over the middle so now we have the set to get the 85s and it's going to take 881s 
And again, notice the graphic here. It says any 81 overall Team of the Week player. Matches the description in the upper left. You can trade those cards in for an 85 overall. And this is a way right now to get preseason Team of the Week 81 overalls to build out week one 85 overalls before the content actually drops at 1.30 p.m. Eastern time. So here is one kind of format change to Team of the Week. In prior years, we would get an LTD. We'd actually get two LTDs based off of current day players who had a good week one performance in a prior year. And I used uh, Devontae Adams and Kevin Bayard in my prediction video yesterday. They were both players that are still in the NFL right now that had good week one performances in a prior year to this season, the 2023 season. Well, they threw that format out the window because Jesse Bates with his two interceptions got a card, 87 speed, free safety, 89 zone, hit power, man coverage, not good. He's purely going to be a coverage guy out there. And if you run a lot of man like I do, you're probably going to want to stay away from this card at safety unless he's pretty much always in a zone. But overall, it looks like a solid card. I don't think it's going to be overly expensive. I don't think it's the greatest card in the world. Might be a decent user as well because he is 6'1". The other LTD is Kyler Murray. So he gets a card based off of a week one performance in a prior year. I didn't catch the year that they said this one was for, but see how they kind of switched it up. There's basically one for this year's performance and one for a prior year's performance. They've never done that with the LTDs. Pretty good looking card here. 88 speed, 88 throw power, uh, short throw 87, mid 85, deep 86. I don't know what release he has, but this is a card that is not going to be better than Vic or Warren Moon. And I honestly would still use the free RG3 over this one. So I'll be curious to see where his price point lands. Now on to the 88 overall offensive and defensive players of the week. Tyreek Hill was revealed yesterday. We don't need to break this one down too much. Hopefully most of you saw it. 90 speed, 88 deep route running 85 mid 86 short and he also has 85 catch and 83 spec catch fastest wide receiver in the game we'll be picking this card up and using him for a gameplay video over on my gameplay channel which we will link down below in the comment section as a pinned comment and we'll also be live on twitch later tonight using this card if you want to see it in action the defensive player of the week is deron bland and i'm not saying he doesn't deserve a team of the week card but where is Jordan Whitehead? You can't have three interceptions in one single game and not get a team of the week card for it. That really upsets me. I'm not going to lie. And I'm not like a Jets fan or anything, right? And I know this might come off as Cowboys hate again. Deron Bland probably deserves a card, but not more than Jordan Whitehead. 87 speed for Bland, 88 zone, 85 press, only 80 man coverage. Again, if you run a lot of zone, this is a really good card. He's like 6'1 or 6'2. If you run a ton of man coverage like I do, and of course he's a Cowboy, so... There was no way I was going to pick him up regardless, but if you run a lot of man coverage, just kind of like Richard Sherman, you're going to want to stay away from this card. So I'm thinking after they show these two cards, here come the Team of the Week Legends, and no, we don't have any Team of the Week Legends this year. So if you're new to Mutt in prior years, for several years now, we would get two players who are no longer in the NFL who had a really good week one in a past year. And this is always a really fun part of Team of the Week. They totally got rid of it. So not only did they move back Team of the Week a day, an extra day, right? It used to come out on Tuesdays. Now it's coming out on Wednesdays, Wednesday afternoons, and they didn't give a Monday Night Football player a card, who certainly deserved it with three interceptions, and they also took away the Legends which was the most fun of the pro mo most fun part of the promo uh, from week to week to week, in my opinion. So we got a longer delay on the content and less cards. I don't like this at all. Now I also want to point out this graphic because it shows here for Tyree Kill. If you read the description, any 85 overall team of the week players and any 681s. But if you look at the graphic, it says any 85 overall team of the week preseason players. And if you compare this graphic to the other set graphics we've seen in this video, none of them ever say preseason. So I do think this is an error. I do think 85s from preseason and week one will end up going into this set, hopefully, but I would be very careful in investing. You can take the risk if you want. You can go out and try to pre-build this card right now, but I still think what we're seeing right now in this picture is going to be different from what actually comes out in-game at 1.30 today. And that's all we got for the reveals. Content comes out later this afternoon. We'll drop a video when it goes live to see what pack offers are out there, take a look at how we really need to build out Tyreek Hill and everything else you guys need to know but for now unless they change it for week two ea really killed the team of the week promo thank you guys for tuning in my name is popular stranger i'm out peace